Well, good morning, guys. Pastor Steve here. Just wanted to share a brief meditation with you. Today I've been meditating in the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 10, and specifically in verses 26 through 27. So I wanted to read those for you this morning. The scripture says, For if we sin, for if we deliberately sin after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a terrifying expectation of judgment and the fury of a fire about to consume the adversaries. Um, <clears throat> so in a in a passage of scripture where or in Hebrews 10 where it's dealing with the Christ being our high priest, um, establishing a new covenant through his blood, um, giving us boldness to come before God and acknowledging God uh, admonishing us in that uh, frame of mind that we need to be gathering together. Um, now he goes on to say that um, if you've received the knowledge of the truth, so you know who Christ is, you recognize that he did die and that it is indisputable he rose again. If you know that truth and you go on sinning deliberately, um, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. Uh, but a terrifying expectation of judgment. So this is this is not about believers and sin. This is about believers ignoring the work of Christ and in going on to sin intentionally. Um, you know, this is, uh, for instance, if you know the work of Christ, you know that he stood against sin, that he rejected sin. Now he did not reject sinners as a matter of fact, the the worst sinners were the ones that were most open to uh his message of hope and forgiveness. Um it was those who didn't consider themselves to be sinners who rejected his message. Uh however, he was always speaking against sin. So within that there has to be an uh, within knowing what he has done. There has to be an understanding of what he stood for and what he stood against. Um, and he, Jesus himself said that um, to love God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and to love your neighbor as yourself is the, is the fulfilling of the entire law. So to go on and, and to reject uh, his teaching and yet claim to know that he offers forgiveness for sins, they're they're incongruous. They don't run together. Um, they're the opposite of each other. So God's simply making an important and powerful observation here that for someone who goes on and continues in to 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 say I'm making plans to sin, for the person who says I know Christ and yet I'm making plans to sin, I'm making plans to do what I want. Because, hey, if I'm forgiven, then good. I'm all taken care of. Nothing to worry about. The Lord says, for that person, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a terrifying expectation of judgment. And why is that? It's because those who have either, who have either rejected Christ or are willfully ignorant of his work, they, they sin and they don't care. They don't care because they don't want to know his teaching. They don't want to claim him. They don't want to give up their sin. And so when it comes to Christ, well, for those people, there is an expectation of judgment. Now, they're, they hope that the Bible's wrong. They, they hope that there is no truth in Christ, but there's still a, an expectation of judgment from Christ um at least if he, if if he comes out to be true be a, be true and his his word is true and he is alive then either they would be expecting judgment um for ignoring him and rejecting him um and so also for the person who says yeah i acknowledge that to be true about christ and i claim it for my own you know for sin issues cuz i don't want to deal with them in later after life, but uh, goes on to plan to sin. 
and rejects the teaching of Christ and rejects the, perp- the, 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 the hope that he brings for life and forgiveness and, um, and his truth, and you reject everything about him except saying, oh, I want, I want forgiveness of sins. For that person, there also remains a terrifying expectation of judgment. You don't know how he's going to receive you. And so uh, God's point here is those who are following Christ, those who, are, who have boldness to enter God's sanctuary, the holy place, to be with the Lord through the blood of Christ, for those who are gathering because we need the encouragement from each other as we are going, um, for those people, we cannot go on sinning deliberately, making plans to satisfy the, devi- the desires of the flesh. It's just, it's just the opposite of who Christ is. And... Um, you know, this is this is not a, a complicated uh, truth for those that are walking by faith, but it might be uh, and should be terrifying and convicting to those who are uh, claiming to be Christian and yet um, still making plans to sin and uh, go against the teaching and and life and the demonstration of the Messiah. So I hope this is an encouragement to you today. I know that as someone who's working to walk by faith, it it is encouraging. It's a little bit sobering, but also encouraging to know that that the Holy Spirit and the power of God's truth um, have rescued me from this way of life. And if you are in Christ, then they are in the process of rescuing you as well. So... I hope you have a great day in the Lord, and God bless you. Go in peace.